Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have an awesome and a bit different type of product to show you all. It's a switchboard guys but it's not an ordinary one. This is a smart home automation switchboard. The regular switchboards have normal on off switches right? Well this one here has touch sensitive switches and all of them can also be controlled with a remote or even your smartphone. That sounds awesome right? Let's get started with the unboxing. These smart switchboards were sent to me by this company called Homify and I want to thank them for sending me this product for review. So this company has 2 to 3 different models of the switchboards. Let's see what they sent us today in this box. All right, let's check it out. Oh, looks like we got a lot of stuff here. What's this? Must be the outer frame of the switchboard. It's made by Eric Switches. Along with that, you've got this big module here. I'm not sure what that is. We'll check it out in a moment. We also have two mini touch switch modules. Now these are the smart switches I was talking about. They're much more advanced than our regular switches. They're also giving you a free input plug socket. And we also have two IR remotes in the box to wirelessly control those smart switches. So these are all the items we got in the box. Now let's check out this big switch module. Let me tear the packaging and take it out. There you go. Here is our smart touch switch module. Now this smart switchboard is ready to be used out of the box. You just need to do the wiring and fix it on the wall. This smart switchboard has four switches for any AC appliances and one switch for the fan with speed control option. The quality of the switchboard looks nice and this is how it looks from the back side. You've got the connectors at the top here and looks like the company has also mentioned what connector is for what. You can just connect any of those AC appliances here to control them with the switchboard. So that was our overview on that big switchboard module. Now let me unbox and show you the modular version of the smart switchboard. For the modular version, they gave you a white color outer frame for the switchboard in which you can place those mini smart switches whichever you want to use. These switch modules have push type design. You just need to take them and push gently to fix them in the frame. I'll do that later. First, let me show you those two types of modular smart switches we got in the box. So this is one of them. It's called a fan controller module. This smart module has three touch switches, one to turn on or off the fan and the other two are to control the fan speed. There's also a master on off at the top and an LED display beside that. The build quality of the module is nice. It's got three wires at the back. One is for phase, neutral, and the third one is for the output. So that was about the fan control module. Now let's check out the other one. This smart module has four switches. You can use these switches for any AC appliances like lights and fans. All of them are touch switches. It also has a master on off and an LED indicator. At the back, you've got six wires. One is phase, neutral, and four are outputs. You also have a good quality input plug socket in the box. To control all these smart modules, we have two IR remotes here. Both of them are the same. You can use any of these remotes to control any of those switchboards. So this is how the remote looks like. You've got lots of buttons on it, like all off, all on, two fan control buttons with speed control, and eight buttons to control up to eight switches. You've got an IR LED at the top, and the remote is completely made of plastic. Let me show you the battery. It runs on a CR2032 battery. So that was about the remote. Now let's check out the smart switchboard one by one. First we'll talk about this big smart module. Now this board has four switches and one fan control with a regulator to control even the speed. There's also a master on off button at the bottom. Now let me tell you about the connectors. It's got lots of connectors. Out of them, four are for lights, one is for the fan, you've got phase, neutral, and one more for inverter. Now the wiring of this switchboard is very easy, nothing complicated. If you have basic knowledge on house wiring or if you have done engineering from electronics department like me, then this is a super easy task. But if you're not sure or do not know how to connect it, I would definitely recommend you to get some help from electrician or you can even contact this company, they'll help you out with your doubts. I'll just do all the wiring part and be right back to continue the video. So I'm back guys, I have connected all the items to the switches. The wiring process took only 10 minutes for me. I'll be using 5 bulbs to give you a demo on how this smart switchboard works. Now I'll be doing this on my desk as it'll be easy for me to explain and show you the working process. In the same way you can connect your home appliances to the switchboard instead of these bulbs. So for these 4 switches I've connected 4 small bulbs and for the fan control also I'm using a 60 watt tungsten bulb. Now that's because it's not possible for me to literally bring a ceiling fan on my desk and show you the demo. But the functionality is gonna remain the same. Alright, so once you power up this board, you'll see a standby indicator here. That means it is ready to be used. As I've told you previously, this module can be controlled with both the remote control as well as the touch controls on the panel. The four lights can be operated by these four buttons and the fan control can be operated with this fan button. Let's test it. There you go, the light has turned on. That's awesome guys. 
In the same way you can toggle all the four lights. That is really cool. Whenever you power on a light, corresponding LED indicator also lights up on the switchboard. Looks like the first two switches are controlled through tracks and the remaining all the switches are controlled through relays. You can hear the sound of the relays while using them. Now let's try the fan switch. We are running a 60 watt bulb instead of a fan. You can also increase or decrease the speed of the fan, but here in this case the bulb's brightness is gonna vary. Nice, it's working perfectly fine. The LED display will show you the speed of the fan here. You've got 8 variable steps on it. This is the max mode. And this is the lowest. There's also a button to turn all the things off and one more button to turn all the things on. Now that is really useful. I'm quite impressed by the smart switchboard. It works very well. Now the same thing can also be controlled through the panel itself. Let's see how the touch controls work. Okay, the touch switches are quite sensitive and perfectly do the job. So that was how the first model of switchboard worked. Now let's try out the second modular model. So just like the previous one, I've completely assembled this one also. I've fixed both the smart modules and the socket provided in this frame. This is how the final switchboard looks like. And just like how we tested the previous module, we'll do the same here with the help of those five bulbs. I've connected three of these small bulbs to these three switches and the fourth switch is connected to the socket. So you can even control any appliance connected to the socket wirelessly. And here is the fan controller with the speed regulator connected to the 60 watt bulb. Now let's test the switchboard with the remote control. We are using the same remote, it's universal, works with all Homify switchboards. One, two, three, there you go, everything works fine. Now let's switch on the socket. It's assigned to the fourth switch. Ah, all good, no issues anywhere. Now let's try the fan switch. Now this mini fan controller only has four variable steps, the previous one had eight steps. Alright, everything is good. So that was my video on the smart home automation switchboards. They're really good. The build quality is nice. The features are good. The installation and setup process is also super easy. And the good thing about them is they can be controlled in multiple ways. Like you've got touch control, remote control. Plus you can also control them with your smartphone if it has an IR blaster on it. The only thing I felt was they're a bit expensive. The big all-in-one smart switchboard costs about 3,400 rupees and the modular one costs about 3,500 rupees. I'll just leave links to them in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.